Hey all, welcome to Slay the Spire. Today we're playing the daily challenge for August 12th, 2020. The character is the Watcher, and the modifiers are specialized. Start with 5 copies of a single card. Diverse, cards are not restricted, restricted by your character. And deadly events, question mark rooms cannot contain elites, but are also more likely to contain treasure rooms. Let's see, so with Diverse, uh, we could get 5 copies of any color. We got 5 copies of Ghostly Armor. It's actually a little tough. It is a skill, so with Diverse, it's going to be very difficult to get any other collector bonuses. So again, if I see Astrolabe, I'm probably going to try to remove it. And then the other problem is that if I see the Gremlin Knob, now I have 5 extra skills, which might make this whole thing very difficult. But let's see how well we can do. Alright, so there's a 2 Elite Path. Actually, multiple 2 Elite Paths, right? So if I go on the left, I can get 2... Oh, just 2 question marks total. 4, four sorry. Um, 2 question marks before this Elite. If I go on the right left, I'll get three question marks before that elite. And then actually this way I get four question marks and the elite and another elite. I can decide to go for another two question marks or shop in question mark. All right, let's go on the right and hope that I get a few good uh, attack cards to counteract in case I get the... I mean, Ghostly Armor is a great card. I don't want to complain too much. All right, uh, do I want to do Eruption next turn? I would need to draw, um, I guess, three attacks to kill. Or a Vigilance. Let's risk it. Let's just do Eruption, and uh, that's fine. I'll get the other. I'll exhaust the other two. Okay, not getting attacked here. Good. This should allow me to kill next turn. Actually, I'm guaranteed since I have to draw another strike. Okay. All right, Bottled Miracle is fine. Fear No Evil. Uh, sure, I'll take it. I need to pick up an attack card, so that's a good enough attack card. All right, let's do Fear No Evil, Ghostly Armor, Defend. Okay. Mm -hmm, not getting attacked here. Eruption strike. Uh, I might want to do... Actually, it's almost guaranteed that I should be able to kill next turn, so let's just wait. Mm -hmm, I just need two attacks. Yep. All right. Melter rushdown steam barrier. Yep, another attack. Definitely need to counteract all the skills I have. Remove a card or um, gain gold. Let's remove a card. I think it's... Uh, I probably should remove... all. Well, Question is if I'm going to end up removing all ghostly armors. I should definitely remove one, because that way if I get Astrolabe, I should be able to remove the other three. Let's remove one ghostly armor, and then next I'll, I'll start removing the defense. The reason I didn't remove the defense now is because I might end up in a world where I'm remo removing all of the, the ghostly armor, so I need some defense. Let me um, probably transform one of the defense here. I got a Wreath of Flame. That's actually probably a pretty bad card for me. Uh, definitely want to buy some potions. I probably don't think I need the snack oil. Let's take the skill and speed potion. Okay. And then, oh, this question mark is an elite fight. All right. Uh, this is going to be very difficult to perfect. Although I guess I have the ghostly armor, so that should help. Let me drink the miracle here and then just strike, strike. Okay. Still have a bottled miracle, which I'm willing to use. Okay. So um, let's see. Wreath of Flame. I mean, it doesn't do that much extra damage, but it is a little bit extra damage. Although, actually, no, I just have to do two ghostly armors here. Okay. So far, so good. The ghostly armors are carrying me through this fight. Uh, I could do Eruption. Yeah, let me drink the Bottled Miracle here. Then do... Um, hang on. Eruption Strike Vigilance is not going to be enough. I need a ghostly armor in there, right? So it doesn't make sense to play the eruption at all. Um, this is tough. Let me no. Let's still do it. Let's do eruption, and then um, yeah, the vigilance alone is not enough, right? No, oh, this is tough. I could also do a strike and then double ghostly armor, and then I have a fear no evil next turn. Okay, that's good. Yeah, so let's kill you and then double ghostly armor. That way I'm fully defended and then I can exit wrath next turn with the fear no evil. Okay. Oh, uh, can I kill here? So, wait, how much is this? 24, 40. That's exactly 40. And I'll exit Wrath. Yeah, that seems like a good idea. So, strike, strike, and fear no evil. Okay. And then I just need to draw a defensive card this turn. Nope, nope, didn't get lucky. Let me see if the skill potion gives me anything. Crippling Cloud Expertise, Armaments. Armaments alone is not enough, right? So, I have to take Expertise, and it has to give me something good. Um, That's so rough here. Or I'll do, you know what, let's use all potions here. Why not? Why not? Uh, don't, can't do eruption here. That was a shame. I used three potions. Hopefully it's worth it. Hopefully I can perfect this one. Otherwise it would have been a really big shame. Okay. I need another 
defensive card here. Okay, good. Phew, that was a close one. Now I just need to kill. I'm not sure if it was a good idea to use five potions, but, you know. Let me see if I can continue defending. Yes, okay. Admittedly, I also got really lucky with the um, with the uh, ghostly armors. Okay. All right, perfected this one. We got Tungsten Rod, really good relic. Whenever you you would lose HP, lose one less. Very nice. Meditate, protect. Um, probably want to go with the Meditate. That should allow me to get Wrath cards back. All right, Gremlin Knob is the one I'm most worried about. Um, well, I might as well do all the attacks here. I don't think there's any chance I can perfect this one, but I'll try. 14 incoming. I uh, can't even meditate anything good. Let's do... Actually, I guess I can fully defend if I do ghostly armor, ghostly armor, and then meditate. The fear no evil? Okay. And can I enter wrath next turn? Nope. I don't think I can fully defend here either, right? Unless I do... No, even if I do ghostly armor, ghostly armor, and defend, that's not going to be enough. So, yeah, it's fine. Let's just do Melter, Fear No Evil, and I'll do one Ghostly Armor, sure. Okay. Oh, actually, it would have been enough. I had Tungsten Rod. I could have been fully defended there. Uh, let's see if that'll be enough overall. Nope, nope, still wouldn't have been enough. So, I think I think I did the right decision there. Okay. 16 seems very doable. Strike, Strike, and Fear No Evil. All right. We got Blue Candle. Very nice. Unplayable Curse cards cannot be played. Whenever you play a curse, lose one HP and exhaust it. Okay. Uh, hologram seems fine. Inner Peace is okay. I do have uh, two ways to enter Calm. And card draw is not a bad idea. Let's take the Inner Peace, sure. Although, well, I guess this is guaranteed to not be the Gremlin Knob, so that's good. Okay. Alright, let's do Fear No Evil. I'll do Wreath of Flame. Hope I get a good attack card. Mm -hmm. That doesn't matter, right? I don't have multi-hits. That's what the uh, Wreath of Flame would be great for. Uh, let's do Strike, uh, Fear No Evil, and Ghostly Armor. Mm -hmm. Alright, another 9. Eruption, Melter for a kill. Okay, Weakness Potion, Flying Sleeves. Well, this would at least work with the uh, Wreath of Flame. Let's take it. Okay. Here I got Happy Flower. Every 3 turns, gain extra energy. Very nice. And then here, Lagavulin. Uh, Alright, I wonder if I should wake him up with the Melter. Let's get there first. Let's draw it and then decide. Uh, I would love to enter Wrath first. Uh, let me play these, because I wouldn't mind keeping them. And I also have a Weakness Potion, which should help. Okay, so... Great. The Eruption, although there's a Meditate next in the next hand as well. Alright, let's do... I mean, might as well wake him, right? It's a bad hand here. Uh, can I do Vigilance, Inner Peace, and then Eruption? And then meditate might work. All right, let's do vigilance, inner peace. Okay, I did draw the eruption. Good. Let's do that. And then melt. Shift on. Should I have done the melter first? Hard to say. Um, let me do wreath of flame next turn. Play the flying sleeves, and then I can exit wrath. Too bad I lost a lot of the, uh, a lot of the uh, ghostly armors. Okay, can I fill a defend here? I don't think I can. Can I kill? No, no, I think I just got unlucky with the draw. Well, not much I can do about that. Let's do Flying Sleeves and then uh, Defend. I will do the... Uh, actually, you know what? Let me keep the Weak Potion for later. I am going to take damage either way here. So not much I can do. I needed to draw one of the um, Ghostly Armors or something else in in that sort. Let's do Eruption, um, Melter, Flying Sleeves, and Fear No Evil. Okay. Took damage there, what a shame. We got Kunai, every time play three attacks in a single turn, gain one dexterity, as well as a strength potion, and um, uh, I don't think Heavy Blade is going to be that useful. Do I want to go for the Popper modifier? Uh, I might not, but I don't want to break it for Doppelganger. I might just skip this, because I'm not happy with any of these. Okay, And then let's go for the two question mark path. Actually, I have to maximize the uh, question mark rooms, right? because they could give me elites. All right, so we can kill one of them here. Let's do um, 12 incoming, right? Let's do Flying Sleeves Melter. Okay. And then Defend, and I'll Meditate uh, the Melter back. All right. Mm -hmm. I guess I don't have any good AoE. That's possibly a problem. Uh, let me do Eruption and Melter to kill you. Should be able to kill this guy with any attack card next turn. Mm-hmm. Alright. 
Okay, shrug it off, sneaky strike. Shrug it off is a good defensive card. Okay. All right, so. Yeah, I think the only problem is that I have trouble entering Wrath. Right now, I have very few cards that allow me to enter Wrath. I have a lot of cards that allow me to exit it, but not enough that allow me to enter it. So, ideally, Crescendo Tantrum would be the best, but I um, haven't seen that yet. So, I could do Eruption Meditate. Let's do that. So, Eruption Strike kills AU. And then I'll Miracle Meditate. Probably the Eruption back. Okay. I'm taking a little bit of damage here. All right, and then here I can do, um, hang on, this is not enough to kill, right? Let's do Eruption, Strike, and then this is enough to kill this guy. All right, and I just need 10 extra damage next turn. Seems very doable. Yep, okay. All right, an Explosive Potion, Headbutt, Turbo, Empty Body. And again, Empty Body will allow me to exit Wrath. I'd rather go with attacks here. I think my deck is currently lacking attacks. All right, Shop. Bowling Bash, I was complaining about lack of damage. Let's do Bowling Bash, Cold Snap. That should help with damage. And then, uh, do I want Infinite Blades? Probably not if I get the Time Eater. Um, can't really think. I mean, nothing here is amazing. So I might actually just skip this one. Yeah, let's see if the next shop might have something better. All right, Grillman Knob again. At least here I have a few potions to fall back on. Let me do the Strength Potion. I might need it. And then I think I'll do Wreath of Flame, Flying Sleeves, okay. And then um, let me do Miracle, Fear No Evil, and then Headbutt that Fear No Evil, okay. All right, now I just need uh, the Eruption. Didn't get it, although I can fully defend with the Ghostly Armor. So let's do that, and then Cold Snap, Fear No Evil, okay. 22 seems doable, especially since I have an Explosive Potion. Um, yeah, I think I might have to drink the Explosive Potion. Uh, actually, hang on, I can fully defend here, right? Go see Armor, and another one, and then Melter, and a Strike. Okay, and then next turn I should be able to kill. Worst case scenario with the Explosive Potion. Nope. Alright, perfect. We got Sundial. Every three times you shuffle the drop pile, gain two extra energy, as well as another Weakness Potion. Power Through is, I mean, yeah, let's take it. It's a powerful defensive card. Okay, definitely don't need to upgrade anything. Let me, uh, or uh, not upgrade, definitely don't need to rest, I mean. Uh, let me definitely get the eruption upgraded. Too bad I don't have any other ways to enter Wrath yet. Just need to draw it quickly. Um, I don't think I want to headbutt anything. So let's do headbutt, strike, and then meditate. I guess I'll take the headbutt back. Hmm... Yeah, still no eruption. Let me do... Is there anything I need to headbutt? I guess just another damage card. So, yeah, let's do... Let's just play everything. Strike, Fear No Evil, Melter, and then headbutt. The strongest attack card is the Melter. Okay. I still have an explosive potion, but... Yeah, I was going to say, if I don't see an eruption, it's going to be hard to get him uh, to split in a... Yeah, he's barely splitting here. I will throw the explosive potion. That should help a little. Yeah, 60 is not a great split, especially if both of them are attacking me. How much is it? 27? Um, actually, I guess I have a good amount of decks, right? So this is 26 plus the Frost Drop. Okay, so I can fully defend. Um, yeah, sure. Why not? Okay. And then both attacking again. This is a little harder. So 27, I have 20. But I'm trying to think if I should do something with Eruption. I definitely should, right? And I have a Weakness Potion, too. Let's do Eruption. Then Bowling Bash. Okay, Flying Sleeves. That's actually a really good split there. And then um, the Vigilance alone is enough, right? Yeah, let's do... Do I even want Vigilance? Shrug it off and then Vigilance? Let's do that. Let's see what I draw. Yeah, let's just do the Vigilance here. Okay. A little too much defense, but at least I get this guy down to 7. I think the backline is guaranteed to... No, never mind. He is attacking still. Um, see, if I do Eruption now, I won't be able to... Can I split him? I just need 30 damage, right? I think that's very doable. So let's do Eruption. The least damage is the Cold Snap, so I have to do that. Okay. And then Flying Sleeves, Headbutt. Uh, probably the Flying Sleeves again. All right, get rid of the slimes. Okay. So far, so good. Uh, it's a lot of incoming. Okay, luckily, I think I can kill here, right? So, Bowling Bash, 
and flying sleuth. No. No, the flying sleuth is not enough. I am in wrath now. There's only 10 block. And uh, even with the weakness potion, he's still attacking for 15. What a shame. Yeah, nothing I can do about this. What a shame. Got unlucky with the attack patterns. I mean, they were attacking more often than they should be. Or they, they usually are. So, yeah, just got unlucky there. Uh, that was only the, the only turn I'm getting attacked. Or uh, I'm taking damage, too. Other than that, I was doing pretty well. No, oh, well. Missed it by one, one attack. So, Popper again. Barricade can be really powerful. Yeah, it's too powerful to ignore. Let's take it. That might help with a lot of the uh, Act 3 elites, actually. Pandora's box will transform all strikes in defense. Um, I mean, since it's not the Astrolabe, it's going to be very hard to get any other collector bonus. So I'm actually considering doing that on the strikes in defense and try to get some useful card out of them. Uh, Ectoplasm definitely I can take. And uh, Philosopher's Stone is fine. Mm, I don't feel I need extra energy. It wouldn't be bad, obviously. Let's risk it with Pandora's box here. Okay, so... Well, this is a weird deck. Luckily, I have enough defensive cards with the ghostly armor, so I don't need extra defense. But yeah, Catalyst is something I definitely don't need. Invenom, eh, fine. And then, uh, oh, this choose a relic thing. It seems like a bug. Bloodletting, Bolt's Eye. Yeah, this is actually a pretty bad hand. Yeah, like, for example, well, I guess Establishment can be useful. So Establishment is, is fine, but Venom is kind of bad, unless I have extra excess energy. Bloodling is okay. Catalyst is really bad since I don't have any. Yeah, actually, they're fine. They're fine. I'm sure we can make it work. Pandora's box always makes it interesting, right? Because it, it like completely messes up your uh, previous synergies. So two lead path on the left and right. If I go on the left, I can do three question marks and a shop in the second from the left path. If I go on the right, I can do five question marks and two elites, no shops. Let's go on the right, though. Yeah, again, I have to maximize question marks because they might be more elites. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, okay. All right, this is going to be interesting. Um, yeah, right off the bat, this is a challenge, right? Uh, okay, I guess... Um, I don't think I can do eruption, right? 28 plus 9, it's not enough to kill. So let me just do establishment and venom, and then I'll do the bowling bash. All right, taking 20 damage right off the bat. I guess 18, right? Thanks to Tungsten Rod. And then here, Power Through is useful. And then, um, Wreath of Flame, Melter, and Headbutt. I'll take an Eruption now. Okay. And this guy's dead. That's good. And then 16 incoming. Um, let's do Eruption, Flying Sleeves. And then, uh, Shrug It Off. I'll do Bloodletting. And uh, inner peace. Okay. Yeah, that was a really bad start. I already lost so much HP. At least I can kill here, right? Okay. All right. Uh, FTL follow up flame barrier. Useful defensive card and upgraded. Actually, it would be great in this fight. Uh, of course, none of them are attacking. Uh, all right. You know what? I'll do flame barrier and headbutt. That's that's going to be huge next turn. And then might as well do bullseye. Okay. Yeah, that's great. I got the flame barrier in the first turn and none of the birds were attacking. Uh, so here, let's do... Yeah, again, I'm going to take damage. I have 30 incoming. Let me throw the weakness potion just because I want to avoid a little bit of the damage. And then probably just do inner peace. Okay. Uh, maybe I wouldn't have taken any damage. No, I would have taken some damage, so that's good. Oh, no. Well, with the weakness potion, I'd end up taking no damage, so that's good. Dagger spray, sucker punch, battle trance is really good. Okay. And it, again, it's upgraded. We got um, removal for 75 gold. Well, actually, what would I remove here? Probably the cattle. Well, cattle is a, such a good card that I'm a little hesitant to remove it. Uh, maybe the study, maybe the bullseye. Yeah, probably the bullseye, right? I don't have any uh, lightning or dark orbs. Let's remove the bullseye. Okay. All right, Sneko. Uh... I'm getting the Envenom often, which is kind of weird, but, I mean, I'll take it. Let's do Cold Snap and Fear No Evil. Okay. Alright, eight incoming. Free Ghostly Armors, so that's good. Pommel Strike is free as well. Barricade is free too. That was actually a really good randomization. And then I'll take the, um, I guess I'll take a, which of these? Let's take a Fear No Evil back. Okay. 
All right, the barricade being free is actually a huge help here. Another free ghostly armor. Let's do fear no evil study. Okay. All right, another 22. Establishment is free. Flame barrier, very cheap. And uh, probably just damage with shrug it off. Okay. Uh -huh. Another eight. I am fully defended so far. Wreath of flame, flying sleeves. And uh, let's do inner PC. What I get? Eruption catalyst. Okay. I just need a little bit extra damage. Should be able to. I was need. Oh, I was taking damage. I forgot. <laughs> I thought I was fully defended, but uh, yet I was getting attacked after all. So I didn't even pay attention to how much damage I lost. He's dead from the poison, though, right? Okay. All right. Anger force field iron wave. Anger is not a bad idea. I do have. Uh, I don't have extra energy. Iron wave is also pretty good. Let's take iron wave first. Uh, sure, let's risk it. I got one curse, which I can remove with the blue candle, and that doesn't deal me any damage thanks to Tanks and Rot. But I also got Smiling Mask. The Merchant's Card removal so it's not always cost 50 gold. Okay. Alright, so... Um, I mean, might as well remove it, right? It's basically free. Uh, let's do Battle Trance. Okay. Uh, do I want to do Eruption? I do have Inner Peace. Or I want to do, hang on, I think I can, ki no, I can't kill if I do the eruption, right? So let's do inner, let's risk it. Let's do inner piece first, then the eruption. This is 16 damage, so kill this guy. Probably not a bad idea. Let's do eruption, flying sleeves, okay? Then ghostly armor, and I'll do a study, okay? I just need to make sure that the gremlin leader doesn't attack. He does attack. That's kind of bad. Luckily, I do have to meditate. That should help. So he's going to attack for 27. This is 16. So I need a little bit extra damage. Let's kill this guy first. Let's see what inside gives me. Okay, so I can do... Oh, I have to do meditate too, though. Let's do flame barrier. Uh, let me see what this gives me. Seek. Seek. Can I seek anything? It gives me energy. Um, I'm, I am going to enter wrath uh, or calm soon. Fear no evil, maybe? No. No, I don't think I can seek anything. Uh, I guess I can do chaos. I can't imagine how that will help me, but sure. Let's do chaos and then meditate. Yeah, that's a shame. Just got a little unlucky. Let's take an eruption again. Okay. Yeah, nothing I could have done there. Got a little unlucky with that, with that hand. Uh, let's do eruption, melter, uh, invenom. Should have done the invenom first. Get the eruption. Um, yeah, let's take the eruption back. Okay. He's attacking again. A little unlucky there. I do have the fear no evil, which should help. Let's do eruption, fear no evil. Okay. Inside gives me iron wave and ghostly armor. Probably want to do that with the bloodletting. Okay. Ghostly armor. And actually, instead of iron wave, let's do the shrug it off. Defends me for slightly more. All right. Okay, definitely losing some HP here. No way to uh, perfect this one. We have a lot of energy here. Okay, perfect. So I can do Eruption, Wreath of Flame, Cold Snap, and then uh, Shrug it off, Fear No Evil, Establishment, and Meditate. Get the Eruption back. That should also be free with the Establishment. And I should be able to kill next turn. All right, again, got a little unlucky with the attack patterns in this fight. All right, let's see what I get. We got Pendip. Every 10th attack you play deals double damage. Very nice. And uh, yeah, this is the reason I wasn't super keen on the Popper modifier. Because if I, if I see an Omniscience, I have to take it. Alright, Cultists. Get rid of this. Uh, let's see. So, let's do Invenom Bowling Bash. Okay. Do I want to do Fear No Evil? I think I'd rather keep the Miracle. Might need it later. Okay, 18 incoming. Well, I can play an Omniscience, but what what would I even Omniscience? Um, eruption twice seems excessive. Yeah, there's nothing that, that stands out. Yeah, I don't think I'll Omniscience anything here. Uh, let's do the Battle Trance. Okay. Establishment, Ghostly Armor, Study. Lots of options here. Uh, definitely want to do Meditate at the end. Let's do Ghostly Armor, Iron Wave, Cold Snap, that actually allows me to, fully be, to be fully defended thanks to the Tungsten Rod, and I'll meditate probably something a Battle Trance back, okay. 
Mm-hmm. Alright, another 27. Flame Barrier is pretty good here. Let me see if I can enter Wrath. Battle Trans. Uh, no, I do have a Wreath of Flame here. Let's do... This guy just needs a little bit extra damage to die, right? Let's do Flame Barrier and Headbutt. Okay. And then uh, let me... Because I'm pretty sure I should be able to enter Wrath next turn. So let's get something like uh, Feel No Evil. Fear No Evil back. All right. Okay, 24. Oh, come on. Eruption is at the bottom of my deck, of course. All right, uh, I guess I have to do... Uh, hang on, so 24, I can do double ghostly armor. And then... Um, no, I think I'll accept a little bit of damage. Let's do Fear No Evil here. Okay. okay. 30, it's going to get harder from here. Uh, luckily, I do have Meditate. Let's do Eruption. Then Flying Sleeves and Cold Snap. I can do Melter, and uh, unfortunately, I am going to take a bunch of damage here, because I have to do Meditate and I can't kill. Mm -hmm. Alright, and then here I'll just do Eruption, Pummel Strike. Alright, that was a rough fight. We got a Bottle Miracle, as well as Dagger Throw is fine. Okay. Alright, 13 HP is a little low, and I don't really have a lot of good potions here. I do have a Fear No Evil, that's good. Let's do Shrug It Off first. Yeah, I probably can't do the eruption. Um, yeah, I mean, might as well do eruption and fear no evil. Am I dead here? 2027. 20, yeah, actually, this is not looking good. Uh, hang on. I'm trying to figure out if there's anything I can do. I think I'm dead here. Yeah, I don't think there's anything I could have done. I think I just lost too much HP. Yeah, because I have 27 incoming, and uh, the only defensive card is to shrug it off. And that only draws me an establishment, so I just cannot defend. Uh, yeah, wow, alright. Um, I guess there's not much I can do. So maybe what I'll do, I mean, I think I made a lot of mistakes here and there, so maybe what I need to do is uh, restart and uh, try just to, just to be a little more attentive. The Pandora's box is, I think, a big question mark, so I wonder if I should repeat that. But I think for now, I'll try one more time to go through this and do almost everything the same. I'll just try to preserve a little bit more HP, especially on um, Act 2. So I'll try that, and I'll be right back. Okay, so I'm back. I did mostly everything the same way. Um, yeah, I got the same card rewards at everything, but uh, I made a few crucial, well, I fixed a few crucial mistakes. So for example, in the last fight, which was against the uh, three cultists, I uh, didn't take much damage. So instead of having, what was it, two or three HP last time, uh, now I have 31 HP, which I think should be enough, even though I don't think I really have a chance in perfecting this one. Yeah, I'm even drawing the same card, so I'm really did, no, I really tried to do everything the same way. So, all right, let's do, let me take uh, this and then do Eruption, a Wreath of Flame, Fear No Evil, and Establishment, okay. All right, yeah, there's no way to perfect this one. Let me actually see if I still with this HP can uh, can survive. So luckily, there's a good defensive hand, Flame Barrier. Um, do I need power? I mean, might as well do power throw as well. Okay. All right, everybody takes six damage. The backliner is close to death. That's really good, although I am going to be vulnerable this turn. 
28 incoming. Ooh, that is rough. That is very rough. Actually, I might still be dead here. I can't really think of anything. 28, I can at most get 19 plus another. Yeah, I don't think there's anything I can do again. So this might be it for me. Um, definitely let's do cold snap. And I mean, might as well do meditate, but it doesn't really matter what I get back, right? Because yeah, I'm dead. There's nothing I could have done. So uh, I mean, obviously, so now that I know that I can't perfect those even without making major mistakes. Uh, so then the question becomes, well, should I have taken the Pandora's box? Uh, you know what? It's still early. All right. Let, uh, let me do one more run. Instead of taking the Pandora's box, I think I'll take uh, the safe choice with Philosopher's Stone, right? Or I guess the only other choice that makes sense. So let me do that again and see how it goes. So I'll be right back. Alright, I'm back. So, um, if you notice, I had to reload one more time because I died in the middle there too. But So basically, there are a few differences here. First of all, as I said, I, I switched the boss relic, so now I'm taking the Philosopher's Stone. And then the other thing I did is I uh, realized since I'm not going to take the Pandora's box, I just removed all my ghostly armors except for one. So now I'm currently still on track for the Highland modifier since I have now only one copy of each non-starter card. And then the other thing is, instead of, uh, so I think before I removed the ghostly armor and then I transformed a defend. So now I removed the ghostly armor and I transformed another ghostly armor. So instead of the Wreath of Flame, which if you remember was very useless, I got the Electrodynamics, which uh, is relatively useful. And other than that, I pretty much picked up the same things. I, th I picked up Acrobatics before because I had extra energy. I think before I just skipped that one card choice. So uh, yeah, I think other than that, it should be the same. Um, so still, I don't think I can fully, uh, well, I definitely can't perfect this fight, but I should be able to survive. I have a good amount of max HP here. Or, uh, sorry, right, actual HP. Mm -hmm. All right, although it's obviously still going to be a challenge. Uh, let's do Flame Barrier, shrug it off. Um, and then I'm actually thinking of doing the Flying Sleeves. No, let's do Cold Snaps and Strike. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right, so now I'm vulnerable. At least I am... Wait, what is that? 27? No. It's 31. I'm st it's still going to be close, but thanks to the Tungsten Rod, I should be alive. Or I should be able to survive. Uh, let's do um, let's do Bowling Bash, Iron Wave. And then um, I can do Headbutt. Probably take uh, the Eruption back. And then just Flying Sleeves. Okay. And then uh, I'm going to take a bunch of damage here, but I should be able to kill next turn, right? So, uh, Electrodynamics deals 8 plus 3, that's 11 damage, that's not exactly enough, but I can fully defend with one defend, so it's Electrodynamics, and then um, I guess I can do Dagger Throw, alright, Battle Trance gives me Fear No Evil, okay, mm -hmm. as long as I draw defensive cards I should be fine. Another 8, uh, I can't Omniscience anything unfortunately. Uh, I have to do power through, strike, and meditate, and I, I think, again, I'll meditate the uh, eruption just so I can uh, try to quickly kill next turn. Mm -hmm. Just need a few attack cards. Yeah, that should be enough. All right, that was rough, but I got through it. We got Ancient T-Set whenever I enter rest site, Sagneth Combat with two extra energy, as well as a Swift Potion and like Water Clash, clash or Study. I am in Calm often enough for like Water to be reasonably useful. Let's take it, sure. Okay. Alright, here I got Oracalcum. If you enter turn with a block, gain six block. Nice. 
though probably won't happen too often for me here i'm actually considering resting because i still have two question marks and both of those could be elites so let's make sure i have a at least a little bit of hp all right not an elite but a regular fight let's get rid of this uh, i do have extra energy so i might as well do barricade um let me see what shrug it off gives me um you know what let's risk it let's do eruption go see armor and defend i'm risking it especially since i still have the uh, swift potion so i could potentially draw cards um i might have to actually can i kill one of them bowling bash yeah i should be able to right so let's do um headbutt the uh eruption and flame barrier okay all right another 44 uh, well, inner peace will allow me to exit wrath. Uh, let me do the acrobatics first. Uh, okay, fear no evil is probably a little better. Let's do fear no evil, eruption, inner peace. Actually, well, play the attack cards first. Uh, flying sleeves, and then inner peace and like water. Okay, that one I'm also fully defended. Mm -hmm. Another 11. Yeah, melter. What was that a little earlier? All right. So, cold snap, I already have this, probably don't have any poison, so Bane is not worth it. Pressure points, I'll take it just to get closer to 50 cards, but probably not super useful. Alright, 12 incoming, let's do Fear No Evil to enter Wrath, or uh, Calm, sorry. And then Defend, I am going to take some damage here, which is fine. Let's take a pressure points back. Okay. Alright, 7 incoming. Uh, Yeah, I can, well, let me see what Battle Trends gives me first. Okay, anything I want omniscience. Mission to Electrodynamics is probably a little too much and won't really help me uh, in this particular fight. So let's just do Flame Barrier, Pressure Points, and uh, Bowling Bash. Okay. Yeah. Alright. So I'm going to be Hexed. Maybe should have drank the uh, m Bottled Miracle there. So Eruption Strike is enough. Let's do Eruption uh, Iron Wave. That's exactly enough. And then Strike. I will drink the Swift Potion just because I need to kill this guy fairly quickly. All right, not the best hand for that, but I'm, I'm close. It is doable, because otherwise I'm going to get attacked by quite a bit. Um, yeah, I don't think this is enough, right? Let me do acrobatics. Okay, I'll put the uh, barricade back. Let's do miracle. Flying sleeves strike. Is this enough? It is. Okay, thanks to pendant double damage. Got a block potion, pressure points in one, a distraction. I already have this between these two. I don't scry at all, right? Let's so let's take the distraction. And still no elite fight. Okay, good, because I was a little low on max HP or on actual HP. Let's do vigilance, distraction, terror is fine. And uh, do I want to meditate a pressure points back? Yeah, why not? Okay. All right, this guy might attack now. Yep, 26 incoming. Luckily, I have a power through. Is there anything I want to omniscience? Uh, I could omniscience a flame barrier. That would be, what, 32 block? You know what? Let's do that. Let's omniscience the flame barrier. Okay. And then I'll do another pressure points. All right. Mm -hmm. Okay, not getting attacked at all. Let's do melter, cold snap. Uh, this would kill, right? Do I want to kill yet? Actually, it doesn't kill, right? Um, let me put the melter back and then do flying sleeves. Pretty sure I should be able to kill this guy next turn. Mm -hmm. Alright, another 15. Uh, yeah, let's do melter. Uh, hang on, can I, can I draw a good attack card? This is 9 plus 7. Oh, that's not, not actually enough. Um... So let's just defend. Let's just do this. 15, yeah, you're fully defended. Good. Mm -hmm. All right, another 26. Uh, let me do this first. Battle Trance. Uh, I do have a Fear No Evil. Should be able to kill this guy though, right? Does Fear No Evil kill 12? No, that's not enough. Let's do Bowling Bash. And then um, Ghostly Armor, Like Water, and Fear No Evil. Okay. All right, I do have double damage active. Let me see. Uh, yeah, I might as well do eruption, and then barricade, ghostly armor, and defend. Okay. All right, here let's do the battle trends first, and then probably just the attacks. Okay. All right, 19 HP, not too bad. Well laid plans should be really good. Actually, hang on. Does well laid plans retain up to one card? Yeah, I think well laid plans would work with the establishment. Too bad I don't have it anymore. Because I got it from Pandora's box. 
Let's see what distraction gives me. Infernal Blade is nice. Car of Reality. Strike. Uh, let me actually do Acrobatics. Should have done that earlier to see what I draw. And then Pressure Points. Do I want to do Battle Trance? Sure. Okay, I think that's fine. Let's do a Headbutt. The Battle Trance back. And then I'm actually going to Meditate something like uh, Car of Reality. Sure. Okay. Should have flipped the order there. Should have put the Carviality back and meditated the uh, Battle Trance because now it's super expensive. Oh well. Um, let's do Carviality Iron Wave. And then Melter. And I guess uh, Smite, sure. I'll keep... Uh, no, that's already in my hand. Let's keep this, sure. Okay, take 9 damage here. Another 16. Omniscience is a little expensive, but could double play the Eruption, which would give me energy back, and I can exit Wrath with the Fear No Evil. Um, or I'll just do the Flame Barrier twice again. Yeah, that might be better. Let's Omniscience the Flame Barrier. Okay. And then Dagger Throw. Alright. Okay. Should be able to kill next turn with the Smite, right? Mm hmm So, uh, well, Barricade is super cheap. Let's do Smite. Um, let me see if I can get something good. Flying Sleeves and Strike. Yeah. Okay. Alright, Duplication Potion, very useful. Uh, Clothline, it's a little expensive, but I do have energy. Let's take it, sure. Okay. And then I might have to rest here again. I'm a little hesitant. The Bronze Automaton does have that big attack, right? So it's going to be hard to defend against uh, that attack in that particular turn. Although I do have a good set of potions. Let's do Pressure Points Battle Trance. Okay. Clothline, Dagger Throw won't, won't actually allow me to draw anything. Let's do bowling. Yeah, just just do attacks. Okay. All right, 16 incoming. There's barricade and flame barrier. Yeah, that's exactly what I need here. Okay. Also should allow me to um, save up on on block for the hyper beam attack. Okay, 18 incoming. I would like to get the electrodynamics back. Can I defend here at all? I do have a block potion, although I was hoping to keep it for later. Let me see what acrobatics gives me. Um, okay, let me get rid of the headbutt. Alright, so vigilance, defend, 16, 18. Yeah, I should be fine with the tungsten rod, right? Actually, even without it, I should be fine. Okay, so defend and cold snap. Okay. Mm hmm. All right, yeah, now everybody's attacking me. I don't think there's much I can do about this. Uh, I do have double damage active in a little bit, but um, defense is going to be the big problem here. Yeah, I don't think there's anything I can do. Uh, definitely can't play the Eruption, unfortunately. Let's do Strike. Maybe if I Duplication, you know what? Let's do that. Let's duplicate the power through. Okay. So how much do I have incoming? It's 40, right? Right now I have... 40, 34. Okay, so I can do Defend and Flying Sleeves. Alright. Not really saving up any block for the big attack, unfortunately. But I guess I haven't taken any damage yet, so that's good. Let's do Like Water Inner Peace. Mm -hmm. And then I think I'll do Ghostly Armor Flame Barrier. Shrug it off. And I'm actually considering drinking the Bottle Miracle to play two more attacks, or two more defense. Okay. All right, 52. I'm actually almost fully... No, can't believe this. I still have to drink the block potion, right? Unless I can kill the backliner. Uh, let's do strike, headbutt. Probably headbutt the um, ghostly armor and then uh, well aid plants first. Then... No! Did I mess up? 61, 63. No, I'm good, I'm good. Phew. Because uh, I have to finish my turn once I play this, but okay. Still have full defense. Okay. I haven't dealt barely any damage though, so this is not really sustainable because I'm not scaling at all. Uh, let's see what distraction gives me. Bouncing Flask, nice. Okay. And then let's do... I am fully defended here, right? Yeah, let's do Ghostly Armor not to lose it. And then the most damage is going to be the Fear No Evil and the Headbutt. Okay, I'll put another Flame Barrier back. Mm-hmm. Keep, uh, I guess I'll keep the Iron Wave. Mm -hmm. Okay, so this guy's dead. That's good. Uh, way more incoming here. Let's do Flame Barrier. 
So how much is it? 2837, right? I have uh, 20... Well, not not even close. I mean, let me drink the block push him. I don't think that's going to help me because I still need to do so much damage. Let's do Iron Wave and Melter. Okay. Uh, well, yeah, it doesn't matter what I hold. All right. Okay. So here, let's do Clothesline for Weakness is not a bad idea. Let me do Acrobatics first. Okay. And then Bowling Bash Pressure Points. Okay. And then uh, let me do what's coming up next turn. Not enough defenses, so let me do Battle Trans. Okay. Can I exit Wrath if I enter it? Not really, right? Don't really have card draw either. Yeah, I don't want to risk exiting Wrath. Or exiting, uh, exiting Calm. So let's just do the Clothesline. That way he'll be weakened next turn. Okay. Um, I guess I can keep the... No, let me keep the power through. Yeah, I need to worry about defense first. Okay. Alright, so 2431 incoming. Uh, let's see. So this is 32. So I am fully defended. Okay. And then let's do Dagger Throne. Another Bouncing Flask. Sure. All right, very happy that the poison only went through this guy. Uh, let's keep... Next turn I want to attack, right? So let's keep the strike. Or maybe I should have accumulated block next turn because I will need that. So far I'm still perfecting though, I have to say. All right, so uh, definitely want to do eruption. This is with double damage. Am I weakened? No, no, let's do double damage eruption. Okay, then strike. All right, is there anything I want to omniscience? Could omniscience a flame barrier? No, no, I won't have enough energy for anything else. Let's instead do flying sleeves, ghostly armor, uh, inner peace, and meditate. And I'm probably going to meditate. Yeah, again, I need defense next turn. Right? Let's take the power through again. All right. Okay, 58. You know what? I could omniscience the um, flame barrier here. Let's do that. Uh, where is it? Okay, so that way I'm fully defended. And then I can do Cold Snap. Oh, actually, that's it. All right, should have done maybe the pressure points. Let's actually hang on to it. Okay. This is the second Hyper Beam attack. I'm doing pretty well defending. Just have to kill sooner or later. Let's do Clothline. I probably need to headbutt some defensive card back, like uh, probably Power Through again. So let me do probably Pressure Points, sure. And then headbutt the power through. Okay. And then I'll keep the defend. I might need that. Mm -hmm. 30 incoming. Alright. Uh, power through. Actually, I'm fully defended that way, right? Let's do Iron Wave Acrobatics. Okay. Do I need the Battle Trance? Not really. I'm okay with the cards next turn. Okay. Uh, let's keep the Battle Trance for next turn, though. Mm hmm. I'm getting there. Oh, wow. That was a very defensive hand. Uh, let me see what Battle Trance gives me. Okay, Clothline to be weakened next turn. All right. Back to 57 block. That's really good. At this point, I have a lot of wounds from the... Uh, from, well, yeah, just a lot of wounds. 34. I am considering doing the Melter here. Let's do... Mel uh, not, not the Melter. I meant the Bouncing Flask. Okay. Yeah, because I think I'm getting close to killing here. Uh, let's do Battle Trance, and I'm really hoping I can kill before the third Hyper Beam, because I don't think I can I can defend against the Hyper Beam. Although, again, I'm doing pretty well. Actually, I should be fine here, right? I'm amazed somehow I perfected this one. Very happy with that. We got... Well, also, that perfect was just because of the Barricade. Probably don't need a second one, though. Alchemize or Scrawl? Um, yeah, Scrawl is fine. I do have energy. Alchemize is okay, but let me go with Scrawl. Because I might get Sozo or something. I didn't. Actually, I got Sacred Bark, which would make the Alchemist so much better. But I think, I'll, well, yeah, let's go with Sacred Bark. Double the effect of those potions. Yeah, too bad about that Alchemist. Would have been, if I knew I was going to get Sacred Bark, I could have gone Sozo instead, right? So it was a tough gamble. All right, so one, two elite path on the left and right. If I go on the left, I get one, two, three, three question marks in a shop. If I go on the right, I can get three, four, five, six question marks on the late shop. Yeah, I'll do that. Okay. Let's see how many elites I can get out of this. All right, let's do... Um, do I want to do eruption? Can I kill this guy if I do eruption? 12. Uh, yeah, I should be able to, right? Let's do eruption, strike, and cold snap. Okay. 
a little dangerous to be in wrath, but I should be fine. These don't attack by much, yeah, or not by nothing at all. Uh, is there anything on omniscience? Um, not really. Maybe the electrodynamics, that might not be a bad idea. Just deals a lot of AoE damage for now and also for the future. So it has a 16, 19, okay. Plus another 3 every turn. Uh, yeah, uh, let me actually play the pressure points too. A little bit extra damage. Okay, so this guy's gonna be dead next turn. And, uh, I can do Vigilance and just wait. Okay. I could wait for five more turns or, um, let's see. I can also do Flame Barrier, Bowling Bash, and Iron Wave. And then he should be dead. Actually, yeah, just kill. Okay. Alright, Ball Lightning. Uh, this is a fun card. Uh, Flying Knee or Tranquility. I'm not sure. Actually, with Electrodynamics, Ball Lightning is actually pretty good. Uh, but flying is also good for energy, but I think I should be fine on energy. Let's take the ball lightning. Okay. Ooh, I don't think I can lose 400 gold, especially since I still have a shop upcoming. So I, I think I have to reject this offer. Oh, well, there's a shop right here. Do I need orange pellets? I don't really get debuffs. Yeah. Yeah. I don't think I get debuffs at all. So I don't think I need it. Uh, do I want something like dramatic entrance? Uh, cool headed is not a bad idea for card draw. Yeah, let's take Cool Headed, let's take Dramatic Entrance, and of the Relics, Nunchaku is not a bad idea. I don't know, Orange Pellets, let me see. If I get a Steroid Potion, right, Orange Pellets is going to be really good. I do need some powers, though, for Orange Pellets to work, and right now I pretty much just have the um, Electrodynamics and the Light Water. So yeah, I think I have to forget Orange Pellets. Uh, let's instead take, wait, did I not pick up a Wally Plants? I did, okay, so I have three powers. Uh, it is very powerful, though. Left, fine. Let me take Orange Pellet. So whenever you play a power attack and skill in the same turn, remove all of your debuffs. Actually, that will work well with the flex. Okay. I still have a shop upcoming, so let me not spend all my gold. Uh, by the way, I should say that I removed, uh, I think, three um, ghostly armors uh, in shops, or maybe two. All right. Let's get rid of this. Uh, dramatic Entrance. Uh, double Damage Head... Actually, let me do Pressure Points first and then Headbutt. Okay. And then Fear No Evil as well. All right. Okay. All right, that's a lot of incoming. Uh, oh, barricade! I've got that's that's another one of my powers. Uh, let's see. So I can do Melter Bowling Bash. Uh, all right, then kill you. And unfortunately, I'm going to take some damage. Uh, let's just do pressure points, though. All right, could have killed him with pressure points too. Yeah, didn't really ask that. Okay, another 18. Uh, definitely electrodynamics here. Let me do Shagara first. Okay, I probably can't do Eruption, or can I? Let's do Electrodynamics. Okay. Yeah, Eruption's not enough. Let me do Acrobatics. Um, um, let's just defend, and fine, I'll do the Light Water as well. Okay. Mm -hmm. Another 20. Flame Barrier is pretty good, and Clothesline for that matter. Okay. So it's a little bit of damage. Uh, well, can I omniscience anything? I don't have good AoE, right? That's a problem. So maybe let's not. Let's instead do ghostly armor, defend, uh, 18 to defend, and then flying sleeves. Okay. Actually, I, sh I should have... The guy would have died from the uh, lightning orb, the frontliner. I should have done flying sleeves on another one. Yeah, that was, that was a misplay there. Uh, let's see. Distraction gives me worship. Fine. And then um, Iron Wave, Strike, Vigilance, okay. Uh -huh. Yeah, this, this fight is dragging on a little too long. Let's do Dagger Throw. Okay, Battle Trance. Uh -huh. Well Eight Plants, uh, keep the permanent strength, that's good. Ball Lightning. And strike. Okay, that was a annoying fight. We got. I already have this. Uh, let's go with the Cutthroat Fate, and then I'm going on the right. Right, first elite, coming up in a second. Okay, get rid of this. I need a little bit of block before I play the dramatic entrance. Let's do ghostly armor, dramatic entrance, like water strike. Okay. Mm -hmm. Oh, I didn't notice the backline was attacking too. Let me do flex, shrug it off. Uh, let's see if Scrawl can give me something good. Let me do ball fighting first. 
Okay. Scrawl. Uh, too bad I can't afford the uh, omniscience. Let's do Fear No Evil. Okay. Dagger Throw. And Cold Snap. Alright, I'll keep the battle transfer later. Mm -hmm. Alright, none of them are attacking still. Bowling Bash kills you. Cut Through Fate gives me the Electrodynamics, which I definitely want to play. Okay. Also have double damage coming up. I just need a little bit of block before I attack the spike here. He already has seven spikes. Uh, barricade would be great. Uh, let me do Cool Headed. Try to draw a defensive card. Try to draw a defensive card. All right. Well, I guess this counts as a defensive card. Okay. Mm -hmm. 22. Let's do Well Laid Plans Distraction. Uh, I can't even do Headbutt, right? Let's just do the Collector. I'll wait. Okay. I'll keep the Head. But, okay. Mm -hmm, nine thorns at this point. Let's do power through and then eruption. Okay. And then defend and strike. All right. It's a little painful. We got a strength potion, reprogram crash turns or turbo. Well, actually, with the orange pellets, reprogram is pretty good. Yeah, let's take it. Okay. First elite, gen head. This might be rough. Let me actually drink the strength potion because I'm a little worried about this fight. It takes me a while to deal good damage. Play skills first, so eruption, strike, dramatic entrance. Okay. Alright, not getting attacked, that's good. Let's do shrug it off like water. Okay, battle trance. Um, and then probably ball lightning, bowling bash, and then meditate the eruption. Okay. Alright, 14 incoming. Barricade seems like something I have to play. Um, can I also get an attack out? Let's do Flex Barricade. Reprogram. I would love to play an attack. It's a little dangerous though, but I think it's worth it. Let's do Eruption. Okay. And then um, Acrobatics. Fear No Evil is dangerous. I got 11 block. That's not enough. Uh, I don't think I really have a choice here, though, right? Um, it is 48 damage. Okay, I only get 11 block. That's fine, that's fine. Make sure I can at least deal enough damage to kill here. Um, probably just attacks here. Let's do Cold Snap, Melter, and Clothline. Should have flipped the order there, dealt the double damage with the Clothline. Mm -hmm. Another 23. Omniscience. Flame Barrier? Uh, sure. Okay. Alright, and then I'll do Headbutt, the Eruption, okay. Mm -hmm. Another 27. Um, I'm not sure why I Headbutted the Eruption, because I can't really enter Wrath. Maybe I should, let's enter Wrath. Right after I said I can't really do that. Uh, then do Scrawl, hope I can draw a card to exit Wrath. I did, good, with the Vigilance. Can I play a power? I don't think I can, though. Gain permanent strength. Um, 54. Let's do Vigilance. Um, no, let me actually do Flying Sleeves. Okay, and then Vigilance. Alright. Mm -hmm. Another 41. He's not weakened anymore, unfortunately. Let's do well Aid Plans. Strike, Headbutt. Uh, probably, I can't interrupt. Let's do the Clothline and then Fear No Evil. Alright, I'm reasonably close to killing, but yeah, unfortunately this would have been very difficult to perfect. Okay, even if I didn't take any damage at the beginning. Alright, uh, 92, hang on, let me see if I can trigger the um, overkill modifier, so I need to deal more than 100 damage. Yeah, 117, awesome. Alright, we got Mob Bank, Whene er, whenever you climb a floor, gain 12 gold, no longer works when you spend any gold at a shop. As well as an upgrade prepared is fine again, just to get me to 50 cards. Uh, sure, let's do that. Blizzard is going to be bad. Armaments is fine, but I don't think super necessary. Okay. All right, here I need the electrodynamics. Um, I am considering omnisciencing it. Let's do that. Let's omniscience the electrodynamics. It's just so important in this fight in particular. Okay. All right, so yeah, the minions are dead. I can do well. They're dead with the dramatic entrance. Uh, probably don't need to do scrawl here. Okay. All right, quite a bit of incoming here. Let me do cut through fate. Uh, inner peace pressure points. Let me get rid of all of them. Hope for something better. Flame barrier is in the right direction. 
So 20, 38 incoming, right? So this is third 26, and I don't think this is going to be enough. Yeah, I think the best I can do is this, which is 34, and I need 38. So there's unfortunately not much I could have done. At least I deal some damage back to them. That's good. All right, uh, let's do Strike, Melter, Vigilance. Okay. All right, another 38. Uh, let's do Reprogram, well it Plans, Prepared. Um, Fear No Evil is probably fine. Let's get rid of this and this. Okay. And then I can do Fear No Evil and Light Water. Yeah, taking a lot of damage here, actually. Okay. Another 26. Uh, let's do Flying Sleeves is enough, right? Let's do Clothesline, Bowling Bash, and Flying Sleeves. Actually, Ball Biting would have been enough, too. Mm-hmm. I'll keep it for next turn. All right, not getting attacked, luckily. Let's do Ball Lightning. And I'm probably going to Headbutt. Ooh, this is double damage, though. Let's headbutt the ball lightning again. Uh, okay. And then I'll do battle trance. Okay, ball lightning, iron wave, and meditate ball lightning again. Where is it? Okay. Yeah, I think if... Uh, hang on, this is already in my hand, right? Let's take the cool edit. If the Reptomancer didn't attack as often as he did, I, I might have even had a shot of perfecting this one, but not as it stands. Let's do eruption... Uh, ball lightning and headbutt. Okay. We got Lantern Stretch Code with additional energy as well as a bottle miracle. And uh, do I want an all for one? I don't really have that many zero cost cards, right? There's the Battle Trans um, and the Flex, Dramatic Entrance Exhausts, and the Prepared, I guess. Yeah, I don't think it's worth it for the all for one. Let's take the True Grid instead. Okay. Have to go on the left here to get two more crush marks. Ooh, giant head again. This is going to be a challenge. Mm, what should I have? Omniscience. It's not even a good power to omniscience. Maybe the... Um, not even the calm, right? Maybe the... Uh, where is it? Uh, light water is not a bad idea, but then I won't be able to fully defend here. Um, yeah, I can't think of anything. I guess I have six block, you know. Hmm. If I want to perfect, I should probably omniscience a defensive card. Like, um, let's see. Or actually, hang on, uh, let me do card draw. So I'm going to omniscience the inner piece because it's going to give me a bunch of cards, okay? And then let's do prepared. Get rid of these two. Okay. And then I can do Eruption and Meditate. That seems good for energy reasons. Eruption. Yeah, I think this would work. So Flame Barrier, Dramatic Entrance, and then Meditate. Okay, that was good. All right. Okay, another 14. Just hoping he wouldn't attack here, especially since I don't have any defensive cards. Great. Let's do Flex, Ball Lightning, Iron Wave, um, and then Strike, Strike. Yeah. It's a little unfortunate since I picked up the eruption, especially assuming that he won't attack me. I might die here too. This is not looking very promising. Let's do reprogram. Well it plants distraction, which gives me a, uh, I can't even amplify it. You know what? Let me drink the bottle miracle here. Just so I can um, amplify the electrodynamics. Okay. And I might as well do a pressure points. Okay. Alright, so far so good. Well, these are uh, retained anyway. Okay, not getting attacked here again. Let's do like water um, and then probably just strike and melter. Okay. I'm a little worried about this fight. Uh -huh, he's doing the big attacks, 31 incoming. Let's do cut through fate. Clothesline is good, I need the weakness. Okay, and then let me do ghostly armor first. Defend, okay. And then a uh, clothesline. Yeah, I'm fully defended here. Let me also do a dagger throw. Okay. All right. Still have so much damage to go through. It's going to be very hard. Mm -hmm, another 27. Let's do miracle acrobatics. Yeah, if I play the barricade, it's going to help me long term, but not short term. And I need short term help. But uh, let me try that. Let's do barricade battle trance. And then, um, power through, well, might as well, right? Let's do power through, defend, 
Okay, almost. Actually, I am fully defended here. And then let's just do a cold snap. I can't see how I'm going to perfect this one. Let's keep the fear noble in case I draw an eruption. Mm -hmm. All right, another 30. Let's do flex. Uh, dagger throw. Probably play the flame barrier to be on the safe side. Okay. And then here, let's meditate. Probably not a flame barrier. Let's do the battle trends. Okay. And then here, I'll keep the fear no evil. Should've, well, actually, go see how I would have exhausted. Mm -hmm. 46 is not weakened anymore. Uh, yeah, fear no evil is good here. Let's do a reprogram eruption. Uh huh. And then uh, double damage fear no evil. Let me first see what I draw with the battle trends. Okay, flying sleeves is actually better with double damage. Mm hmm. And then fear no evil. Now I just need to get a combo with 46 block. So the most I can do is vigilance and defend. That's no, no, that's it. Yeah, I tried really hard. I replayed this so many times. I'm, I'm tired at this point. Um, I don't know what it was. I think with the diversity deck, uh, it's very hard to get a uh, good synergy going. So I was hoping to get more stance shifting cards, and I didn't get them. Uh, so ultimately, I think that's that. That was the main culprit. So. Yeah, I tried numerous times and uh, it just didn't work. I'm sure if I played it another five times, I could have gotten to the end, but it's just too much. So um, I did perfect one, only one. Oh, no, that's a boss. That was the second act boss. And then three of the eight elites. How many would I have gotten? I would have gotten at least one more, maybe two, but very likely just one. So three out of, um, what is that, nine at least? Not bad. Got Overkill, got Librarian, Mr. Machine already. But uh, didn't finish, obviously, so very low score. Uh, let's review the rankings before I go. I mean, sometimes it happens, right? Sometimes I win, sometimes I do well, and some other times I don't. Yeah, so looks like... I mean, I think anybody who gets to the end is probably is going to have more than 1,000 points. Um, but yeah, no familiar names, at least. At least not that uh, I can quickly see here. Let me remove the score from yesterday. Yesterday, I was, I was doing pretty well, but a lot of people took me over. Yeah, so yesterday I was 29th, and notice that my score of 1483. A lot of people have two, uh, five, like multiples of two. Two, four, six. It goes, actually, and then it jumps. Wait, what did I do? Click the wrong button. So 14, no, I'm, I'm confused here. Yeah, 1483. Uh, and then that's 29th and 4093, which is still just a matter of just not fighting uh, question mark rooms and instead of doing regular fights is 17th uh, place. So yeah, very, very narrow spread in the in these scores. But yeah, today I just did really poorly. Anyway, thanks for watching. I try, I will try to do better tomorrow. Bye.